All right, here we're going to do the dreaded word problem, the application. So this one says, if a rock falls from a height of 20 meters on Earth, the height in meters after x seconds is approximately h of x equals 20 minus 4.9 x squared. Okay, before we get started with this, let's just think about what this is saying. h represents the height x represents seconds or some time. So x would be time in seconds. Okay, this is our function. They've already given it to us. We're just going to be evaluating it, but we are going to have to use some logic as we go along. Okay, part A says, what is the height of the rock when x equals one second? Well, here they've given us what the value of x is. So we should be able to plug that into our function to find the height. We want to know what the height is when our equation is evaluated for an x value of 1. So that means the height will equal 20 minus 1 squared is 1 times 4.9 is 4.9 and 20 minus 4.9 is 15.1. So what that, what that is telling us is that after one second, according to this function, this uh, rock is going to be 15.1 meters high. Okay, all right, let's look at the next part. The next part says when is the height of the rock 15 meters? Well, remember our equation said h equals 20 minus 4.9 x squared. Now I realize that I put h here instead of h of x, but kind of for simplification purposes, um, so we can see that this is the height, I can do that. Now when, here's my question, when? When is a time? So they're asking us what is x when the um, at the time that the height is 15 meters. So the height then is my 15. I can replace h with 15 in this equation. And when I do that, we only have x as our variable. Well, x represents a time. So when we solve this, we end up finding out what the time is at this height. So I need to subtract my 20 from both sides first to get negative 5 equals negative 4.9 x squared. And then if we divide both sides by negative 4.9, we get a big number. We get 1.0204087. Zero eight one six three equals x squared. So you may have to pause it so you can do that on your calculator. And then when we take the square root of both sides to get the x alone, we get x equals 1.0105245. So we're talking about when. That means that we're talking about one point about, you know, a little over one second. So we might even say about 1.01 seconds is how long it's going to take for this rock to be 15 meters high. Now for the last one, it says when does the rock strike the ground? So again, we're asking for a time. And when the rock strikes the ground, we're going to be at a height of zero. So we would replace zero um, for h in our function, and then we would have to solve for x. So negative 20 equals negative 4.9 x squared. Dividing both sides by negative 4.9, we get 4.08163265.3. And then taking the square root of both sides, we get x equals 2.02. .02 zero three zero five zero eight nine which means x is about two point zero two seconds so after about two point zero two seconds the rock will hit the ground 